we're just driving towards Provence and the south of France coastline and we just thought we'd stop off in this beautiful little old town of Ouzes. enjoying taking it all in. Stunning little place, very old, very nice little streets, really well kept, quite up market. Lots of boutique shops and things like that, but absolutely amazing. Alleyways. Oh. So cool. Pretty cool. You just hear the pigeons flying off every now and again. I'm loving all these French little shutters and all the windows. I don't think this bird chose a very good spot to have a nest. <laughs> I mean, that's easy pickings for any pussycat to jump up there. This is the main square where everything's happening and it's just so nice and pretty and every little archway as you look around takes you to somewhere different, takes you to another little kind of street, another little area, down little alleyways. Um, yeah, it really is, it's a really nice feel. It's a, <laughs> a really nice feel. It's got a really nice feeling about it. It's got a really nice feeling about the place. It's so chilled out and so French. <laughs> After a long wander around, the dogs are a little bit tired. You're right, dears. It was quite a trek around the old town, weren't it? Oh, look how tired he is. <laughs> that nice to be back. We got a good few hours out, weren't we? Good boy. Morning, and we are in Ouzes, a car park 100 metres from town. We ended up staying here. We were quite tired by the time we'd gone around town yesterday, and this is... This was obviously fine to stay for the night, it slept really well actually. We're about 100 metres from the centre of town, so it's really handy. And there is a big market on this morning, if it hasn't been rained off. So we're going to get out of bed and go and check out this big market before we continue. So, let's go. And we're in the market. Loads of honeys, wines, meats, fish counters, loads of really nice fresh produce. We found this really cool nut store. Loads of different things to choose from. I think we're going to go for the wasapi and some chili nuts and these other little things. We're not sure what they are, some sort of dried fruit. But it all looks so nice. We always get it if we don't know what it is, just to try it. <laughs> Makes it more interesting. <laughs> and local produce, which is good because we can't really buy anything else because we don't have room for it. This one's been a bit naughty. 
He's um, been a bit uh, growly towards other dogs rather than friendly, should I say. So he's got to be picked up around the market. He gets to scrap around on the floor for food and gets to meet lots of other little dogs. Every type of fish you can think of just on this little stand. One thousand eight hundred euros, and one of these little beauties can be yours. Bargain. Gosh. Hello. What do you reckon for the van shower? Instead of having the black bucket, put the curtain in there. Nice. Have a bath. So we're at the famous Palais des Papes in Avignon and it's pretty impressive. It's the biggest Gothic palace in the whole world, apparently. And it's just really, really awesome. The sheer size of it, as you can see behind me, is great. And I think the grey stormy skies really like add to it as well. So yeah. Avignon, the walled city, oldest wall dating back to like the 13th century and this palace, not many people know it, the seat of the Catholic Church moved here for 70 years in I think around the 13th century, so it moved from Rome to Avignon like 70 years before going back there, so this palace was built for the Pope I believe, could be lying but We came too late and it's just closing now, but just from the outside, it's impressive enough. So we're not too bothered that we've missed going inside. But it's starting to rain now, so we might have to go and find some shelter. I'm moving upwards to the gardens, no? tired. Looks like you won't mind being left for a couple of hours now. Hey. So we are in the town of Arles. It's quite warm today but we found a really good spot in the shade so it's fine to leave the dog. It's got the little fan, gonna leave that on for them too. As you can see they're gonna just stay here and protect the van, aren't you? And then we'll go for a nice walk when we get back. So we're going to yeah, go on the bike, so probably only be about an hour. First off, head into the tourist information, grab ourselves a little map, and then a quick cycle tour of the town. So this is 
pretty cool. There's a little square here, really nice square, loads of cafes. And just over there behind us is the Vincent van Gogh Cafe. Because in this painting, he painted that back in the day. It's all very old looking. And then you'll find a little modern restaurant right in amongst it all. Pretty cool. cycling around these old little towns or villages all these shutters and really rustic old looking buildings the paint peeling off a kind of like rustic sheet really really nice love it this is an interesting little street and i think it may be the way that nick's gone Somebody take a wrong turn. That's what we do when we go to a new town. Just rub around getting lost. managed to find Arlie's Amphitheatre, 20,000 theatre in its time. It used to host the chariot races and gladiator jewels. And now it hosts basketball games, concerts, plays, and all sorts of entertainment things. It was founded and probably built in 90 AD. So that makes it over 2,000 years old. Whoa! Woo. Pretty old. What I don't get is how they built things like this all those years ago. I mean, how do they even build things like this now? So, it's pretty amazing. There's so many pretty little streets like this around the place. It's, uh, it really feels quite old everywhere you look. I don't think much has changed here, apart from it's got a bit bigger over the last however many hundreds of years.